Let's begin with search engine discovery. This technique pretty much allows us to gather information that may have been unintentionally leaked or indexed by search engines like Google or Bing. It's important to note that this process doesn't involve any hacking or any unauthorized access. We're simply using publicly available information. To perform this, we'll use We'll use search engines and specialized search queries known as dorks. Uh, we're going to do that on the Google, on Google. When we're using Google directly to perform these dorks, it is the the entire process is known as Google dorking. For example, we can use site colon example dot com. Let's head over to Google and give a demonstration on what that is. So using this dork uh, on the web page, we, we can use it to search for all index pages from the website. By analyzing the search results, we can look for any unintended information leakage, such as email addresses, private directories, sensitive documents. Using this dork specifically, if we analyze the search results from this dork, we can identify anything that Google has indexed that could lead to potential information leakage. This is the main dork to basically tell Google to search within this site. Now in order to drill down into file types we can go file type colon PDF and if there is an index file present PDF uh, in PDF format we would be able to, if it's indexed, we will be able to discover it here and take a look at that PDF. Another basic and common example is to search for exposed admin pages. For that, we will go in URL admin. This is a very basic dork. As you can see, there are no admin pages exposed for example.com. Uh, in this case, the keyword here, admin, is what has been index within the same URL. As you can see in this case nothing was found no admin pa no admin pages exposed but in the real world this does happen and this would be a very basic way to find an exposed admin page. In order to mirror this on another search engine such as Bing or DuckDuckGo let's head over to Bing.com so in this case, we use the same dork. Uh, this particular dork works for Bing for setting the oops, sorry then. setting the site we want to look at. As you can see, Bing here has a bit more information uh, than what Google gave us for the main site. Let's go back. Different search engines give different results. So this is why we use multiple search engines uh, during our reconnaissance and information gathering phase. So here the dorks are a bit different, but you can still use dorks uh, on the Bing search engine just the same. So if I wanted to take a, a look at the IP here, I'd go IP example.com. I got no results for the IP right away. In this case, the IP is not directly known by the search engine, but later on, uh, I'm going to show you how we can get the IP for this domain. Let's go ahead and head back to the guide. Close this out. So here we are at the guide. So pretty much uh, the guide here tells us how to test uh, using the various search engines. So far, I've covered how to use dorks on both Google and Bing but every search engine here is available for you to conduct information gathering. Let's do one more demonstration. Uh, let's utilize Shodan here. As you can see Shodan is a service for searching internet connected devices and services. Let's open that up. So I can basically run various queries, various dorks, uh, Shodan dorks to be exact, 
Uh, in this case, what we were doing to mirror on this platform is hostname.example.com. So instead of site, we're going to use hostname. We have a different platform. Um, you can read through various documentation to see how to perform which query on which platform. Uh, they're pretty pretty well written out. Uh, this one specifically has a documentation section for these dorks. Let's take a look at the site. Okay, so we have the results from Shodan. Uh, as you can see here, we have various IPs. Uh, we have a status code, which we can go over that here in a bit. Uh, we have the potential SSL certificate, but that response is not looking good. Uh, we have RDP potential or previous RDP access. Alright, so that's a very basic example of how we can mirror that top level domain search for um, example.com. Now that I want to dig more into the certificate for the site, let's go SSL. This is a different dork for the SSL certificate specifically. Let's see what we got here. As you can see here, these are the results for example.com and that very basic dork. Uh, another advantage of Shodan is that it can be used to find SSL certificates that are expired or self-signed. Um, we can dork for expired certificates just by typing in SSL.cert.expired colon true. So if we would link that to the main domain or the target in question, we would be able to discover the expired certificates on the site. Of course, both Shodan dorks and Google dorks can be more advanced than what I've given here. Let's head over to Google Hacking Database to give you a live example of how we can drill down and really set up our queries to get that sensitive information. I'm going to close this out here, head over to Google. There we go. I have ExploitDB saved. It is a bookmark. Uh, the Exploit database pretty much holds the CVEs, uh, exploits, and anything that helps with finding um, information and or exploit vectors. The Google Hacking Database specifically has various dorks we can use in our information gathering phase. These were submitted by various people who crafted them and submitted them to ExploitDB. Now I can take any dork here and utilize it for our Google search. Let's take this first one here for an example. So we have entitled sharing API info. Let's head to Google, try to mirror that on the target site. So I'm going to paste that here, but I'm going to keep it on example.com to see what results pop up. So we have no results on that particular door. What we can do is target the application a bit more and really drill down to what specific technologies are present within this application. So if we know that WordPress is present we would go with the WordPress specific dorks. If we know that Drupal is present then we would do the same thing as well. Same for PHP or any specific technologies that you are aware of of have discovered from either fingerprinting the web page or using this particular extension which I will explain here in a bit. 